I received your letter and got here as quickly as I could. Good, boy. Now I'm going to tell you why I sent for you. Twenty years ago, my brother and I quarreled over a woman. He married her. They located near Kenegami House in northern Canada. A child was born, a girl. The wife died. I heard that my brother had strangely disappeared. Lately, I've had a desire to see that niece of mine and find out just what happened to my brother. That's why I sent for you. I'm afraid I couldn't stand the trip. Well, I'll be glad to do everything I can. You know, I haven't forgotten that you were Dad's best friend. You see, uh, my brother's name was John Ball. His wife's name was Marie. More likely, that would be the girl's name, too. It's my hope that she will spend the remaining years of my life here with me. You know, son, someday she's going to inherit this here Ranch of the Pines. Oh, I understand, and I'll do my best to find it. Couldn't ask no more than that. When can you leave? On the morning train. Good! <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Rod Drew. What are you doing here? Why, hello, Wabi. Where are you heading for? Oh, I'm going home. I've just graduated. Oh, that's right. Say, how is the old alma mater? Oh, it's kind of quiet now. You know, they haven't found any cows or goats in the dormitory since you left. <laughs> Don't tell me the place has deteriorated into a school of learning. Sit down. Oh, I can't now. I'm right in the middle of a poker game. But I've got a lot to tell you. I'll be back later. OK. Don't lose your shirt. No. where that one came from. What are you doing? Getting sore because you're losing, huh? You tin horn, you half brain. I didn't do it, Ross. They framed me. I caught him cheating and they pulled a gun on me. It's murder. Come on. Nice day for ducks. You shouldn't have done that, Rod. Now you're in as much as I am. Oh, don't worry about that, Wobby. The main thing is to get out of here before they pick us up. We're about a mile from Fort Minnetaki. We should be able to buy a change of clothes there. Well, let's get started. Well, there you are, sir. Horse place comes kind of high out here. Come on, Wobby. Point it must be them fellows that drifted in town this morning.
Well, there they are now. Let's go down and have a talk with them. Hey, you fellas, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, man. Come on, Wally. That's them, all right. Come on, let's run them down. We've got to jump for it. It's our only chance. Got away. I'll notify the Mounted Police. Minitaki and headed north. One of them's a half breed, but we haven't any description on the other. You'd better start at Fort Minitaki. Yes, sir. We can take a shortcut to Wabanash House at the bend in the river. Once we make it, we'll be safe for a while. The cabin looks deserted. We can camp there for the night. It's a map. Well, they must have fought for it. It shows the location of their mine. This is what happened to John Ball. John Ball? Why are you interested in him? He's one of the reasons I'm up here. And the other? His daughter. Bobby, when we get to Wabanash House, we'll make a search for this mine.
Where, Wabi? Wabi! Please. Oh, gee, but I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, Wabi. Felice, this is Rod Drew, my best friend in college, Miss Newsom. How do you do, Miss Newsom? How do you do, Mr. Drew? Well, how are you, Wabi? Glad to see you back. I'm glad to be back, Mr. Newsom. Mr. Newsom, this is Rod Drew. How do you do, Mr. Newsom? Howdy. Going to be with us for some time? No, I'm afraid not. We're only going to stay long enough to get supplies. Oh. But where are you going? Well, uh, you see, we're thinking of hunting wolves, and we want to get our trap line spotted early. Yeah. In the meantime, I have some things here I'd like to leave with you for safekeeping. Would you lock these in your safe? Why, certainly. Benoit, place these in the safe. Oui, monsieur. Police can get you what supplies you'll need. We can put you up right here at the post. Thanks, Mr. Newsom. That'll be fine. Hey, right, you boys come along with me now, and I'll show you your room. What you got, uh, huh? You ain't. Let's show you. <laughs> More bullets, huh? <laughs> we... When the winter catches in, we attack Wobonor's house and bring them to terms with their own ammunition, huh? We. Oui. And the fur, she's coming in pretty quick now. Uh. And the ammunition is very low. But Newsom, he no know that. I empty the boxes and put them back on the shelves. Oh. <laughs> And now, I have the grand news for you. Two strangers has arrived at the post with a map for lost gold. A map of gold? Oui. Where is it? Je ne sais pas. I only see the word gold marked on the map. Newsom Mac may put it in the safe. You can open that safe? I do not know if I can do that. You try, huh? Oui. I give you two men. You go there tonight. Oui. in Felice's room, and she's gone. Felice gone? Oh. One of LaRoque's crowd, eh? I've seen him before. He must have taken him to his place. Well, who's LaRoque? Renegade trader stationed up the river here. Been giving us plenty of trouble. I wonder what they wanted here. There's nothing of any value. Not even in the safe. Maybe it was a map. We've got to find Felice. Well, we'd better head for LaRoque's. We can go by canoe. No, you can't go that way. There isn't enough water. Oh, we might make it. There's one thing certain. You sure would give them a surprise if you did get through. Well, come on, let's try it. All right, I'll take care of this. Where you say.
could not open this safe. But Felice, she know the combination. Get her and bring her here. Jules LaRoque, so you're behind all this. You tell us the combination of that safe and we set you free. I'll tell you nothing. I think maybe you will. Take one of their guns and start something. And then meet me at the back door.
gosh, you just get away. Say, Wabi, I've been thinking maybe Felice could help me with my quest. Oh, so you're up here on a quest. I didn't come here just to hunt wolves. I'd be very careful if I were you. Manhunters aren't exactly welcome by most people around here. Well, it's not a man I'm looking for. It's a woman, a young woman. She's just about your age. That sounds interesting. Tell me about it. Don't you think we'd better let your father know you're safe? Perhaps you're right, Wabi. You have a big mistake when you bring that girl here. But I have to. She see me. And now I cannot go back. We will send Marie. She is not known there. Oh, really? Bon, that is a good idea. She can tell them she is clerk from Kinigami House. He will need someone for my place. The tall stranger, he have a map of gold which you must get. But you must not tell him anything. Leave it to me. I will get it. I know. Excuse me, monsieur. Are you Mr. Newsom? Yes. Yeah. I'm Marie Lafleur from Kenigami House. I was clerk there and also took care of the accounts. I'm looking for work. Can you keep books? We oui, miss you. Well, and you've got a job right now, so far as I'm concerned, if you can only help me out of this mess. Oh, that will be simple, monsieur. Well, fine. I'll go and have a room prepared for you right away. Thank you. Did you say your name was Marie? We oui, miss you. Well, I heard you say that you were from the Kenigami house. Have you lived around there long? You are very inquisitive, monsieur. Well, I don't mean to be, but I'm very interested. I'd like to have a talk with you. If you wish. What's the matter, Felice? I don't see why he should be so interested in that girl. What do you care? Are you beginning to like him? Why, no. Things haven't been the same between you and me, Felice. Not since you met him. I owe him my life. But I'm not going to let him come between us. Why, Wabi. I never realized you felt that way about me. Here's your map, young man. Better not take any chances. That's a rook crowd isn't giving up so easily. Oh, we'll be watching for them. Mm, I'm keeping my eye on them, too. Getting too many of them to be comfortable. Sending old Mokoki up to keep watch on them. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Newsom. Take care of your health. Good luck. Thank you. Wabi, you've got an arm load, have you? Goodbye. Goodbye, Felice. Goodbye, Rod. Goodbye, Wabi. Goodbye. Please. Well, what you find out? Oh, he just asked me questions. I can find out nothing from him about the map. And this morning they start down the river. It is too late. No, I do not think it is yet too late. I have another idea. Well? They leave this morning. Yeah, I know, but what you find out at the mounted police post? I find out plenty. They are wanted men. A mounty leave Fort Nipigon this morning for find them. Oh, that is bad. If the police get them, we lose the map. We must beat the police. A 
Mountie. Get away from that gun. You're under arrest. Hit the trail, you two. We're heading for Kanagami House. Not that way, this way. I thought the Kanagami House was southwest of here. I said we're heading this way. This is your little game, is it? Pretty clever, huh? Almost as clever as the way you get police. I should kill you for that. Get the map. Tie them up. Put them in there. Line up against that wall. So you're the real Monty, eh? I thought that other guy was a fake. See, we go up the wash sugar to the big musket. Uh, there. Come. We go. We gotta get out of here. The rope must be well on his way by now. Yeah. With our map. Well, that's where you're wrong. I got the real one in my boot. You're not turning him loose, are you? He's the law. I'm not gonna leave him here to die. You can do as you like, but if you turn me loose, I'm putting you under arrest. Oh, don't be crazy, Rod. If you turn him loose, we haven't a chance. He'll have every man on the force trailing us. Listen, we may be your prisoners, but you're coming along with us until we find out what this map leads us to.
That's White Peak, all right. And according to this map, the mine's right below us. Here it is. Well, there must be a small fortune there. What's this? Hmm. Well, George, this looks like police. Wobby. Is Felice John Ball's daughter? And you knew it all the time? Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I knew that if you found out, you'd take her away with you. Then I'd lose her. I know now that she doesn't care for me. Well, we'd better get started. Orok will know by now that he's been sent on a wild goose chase. And nothing will stop him. He's not here. We have been tricked. We go back to the cabin. them on the creek. Going, Wobbing.
Look. We've got to stop him. The falls are just below there. Stanley Morgan, Bobby. We've got to get him back to Watermelon House. Three times they fool us, but no more. You will bring all the men here. This time we will fool them. We will attack Wabonosh House for the gold and the furs. <laughs> and they will find the ammunition is all gone. <laughs> Find out. Twenty, thirty men hold big pow wow to the rooks. Him come here quick. Mm. They probably intend to attack. Thanks, Makoki. Huh. I'll get guns and ammunition ready. Come along, Wabi. Wait. There's a mounted police post at Fort Nipagon. And I'm deputizing you to go get them. I'll get them, Ryan. Mr. Newsom, these are empty. Empty? Ben Walter to blame for this. Well, we can't hold out for long. Ryan says there's a police detachment at Fort Nipagon. I'm going after them. Hold out as long as you can. and his gang are attacking Wabanash House. I have only three men here, but we'll deputize every man in the settlement. Call assembly.
Everyone is ready. We go. Somebody must have tipped them off. But no matters, they cannot hold out for long. You leave them to attack while I look for Marie. Oui, bon.
are ready to go back any time you are. That won't be necessary. The sergeant just told me that the man that Wabi had to fight with didn't die after all. And when he recovered consciousness, he exonerated Wabi of the shooting. And you boys are free. 